Hello students, uh, welcome back. Yesterday we had left uh, on the topic format, format uh, theorem. So let's start with this. The principle of least time is known as a format theorem. Light always takes the quickest path between any two points which may not be the shortest path. That means light always takes the quickest path. It always propagates in a rectilinear motion. You had learned about rectilinear motion in class 6. And the laws of reflection is followed by it. That is, angle of incidence is always angled equal to the angle of reflection. And this can be validated by the principle of format of least time. Next one is the plane mirror. Any flat and polished surface that has almost no irregularities on its surface that reflect light is called a plane mirror. You have seen plane mirror at your house and in the offices. Now let us see some of the characteristics of the images. Images can be real or virtual erect or inverted, magnified or diminished, a real image is formed by the actual convergence of light rays. A virtual image is the apparent convergence of diverging light rays. Second point is, if an image formed is upside down, then it is called inverted. You must note this point. Or else it is an erect image. If the image formed is bigger than the object, then it is called magnified. And if the image formed is smaller than the object, then it is called diminished. Object is generally shown by the English alphabet U and image is generally shown by the English alphabet V. Both these letters will be in a small letter. Image formation by a plane mirror. The image formed by a plane mirror is always virtual and erect because we can't touch the image. Its form behind a mirror so it is virtual. Object and image are equidistant from the mirror. You can see the picture below. A man is standing in front of the mirror and behind a mirror image is formed. So the image is virtual and erect. You can draw the uh, image formation by the plane mirror in your notebook. Now, principle of reversibility of light. If the direction of a ray of light is reversed due to reflection of a surface, then it will retrace its path. What I mean to say that if the angle of incidence is zero, then certainly the angle of reflection will be zero and will be in the same direction. Let us understand this point. If the ray of incidence is coming along the normal line, then certainly it will be reflected back in the same normal line and angle of incidence and angle of reflection both becomes zero. For spherical mirrors, let us consider a hollow sphere with a very smooth and polished inside surface and an outer surface with a coating of a mercury so that no light can come out. Then if we cut a thin slice out of the cell, we get a curved mirror which is called a spherical mirror. Relationship between focus and the radius of curvature. You must always remember that 
focus is always the half of radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is also known as the center of curvature. For the formula, you can remember f is equal to r upon 2. f is the focal length and r is the radius of curvature or the center of curvature. That's all for today's. Thank you.